I've been calling. Standard protocol and resources in play. But the clock is short. Hungry? No, thanks. Bring the factory. Like I said, the clock is short. You know, fish have a memory span of three seconds. I thought that was a myth. When does she expect your report? Within the hour. She's in transit now. Do you need more than that? What do you think you're doing? Um, you're stealing from me. Oh, no, no, um, could just, could you please, please put the gun down? Not doing that. Okay, I, I, I'm leaving. I will leave. You sure are. Okay. Oh, all right, okay, I'm just, yeah, okay, okay. I'm just leaving, leaving, leaving now. You ever heard the story of the eagle and the bee? No, I haven't. It's a Russian fable. The bee was busying himself by a flower when the eagle flew over to express pity. He said, for all the work the bee does, molding the honeycomb in the hive, his labors would go unrecognized. Unlike the eagle, who spread his wings and soared above for all to see, the bee would die without distinction. The bee tried to explain to the eagle that he was born to work for the common good. He didn't seek attention. 
He said that when he looked at the honeycombs, he consoled himself with the thought that in them are a few drops of his own honey. And that is enough. Well, I hope I'm not the eagle in the story. Do you know why I'm here, Bill? I'm going to assume it wasn't to tell me a fable. Does it have something to do with the body they found in town? I heard a rumor he was a Mennonite. Was he from your order? He was Amos. My son. Jesus, Jeremiah. Sorry, I didn't know. I used to tell him that story. I tried to instill in him that hard work is distinction enough. With all his peers, he was the last to return from Rumspringa. Esther and I, we feared that the world had taken him. But then, like all the others, he came back to the fold, deliberate, committed, ready for covenant. And we told ourselves that he had stared sin squarely in the eyes. He had seen the pores of the devil, only to come home inured. He overdosed on our fentanyl. The honey we make. I don't know what to say. We made a pact, our community. The product was not for our own taking. So I continue to ask myself, was Amos he weak? Was he unready? I felt the same way when my son Clay was hurt. All due respect, Bill, your boy's still alive. Only by the grace of God. Esther is mute with grief. The entire congregation looks to me now, wondering which way is north. It's the same place it always was, Jeremiah. Your people will follow your lead. Do you know why my son was in Reston? I was going to ask you the same question. May I ask a favor of you? Anything. Local authorities are holding his body, but we need to bury him come sundown tomorrow. Given your connections, I was hoping you could help. I'll make some phone calls. is going on? Deputy Hulche. What is this? This is a DEA safe house. I'm Agent Nora Barnes. You've already met my partner, Luis Castillo. Sorry, I couldn't tell you anything until Agent Barnes arrived. Clutch. Is this about Bill Boone? He's smuggling drugs into the U.S.? The Mennonites are his supplier, right? That's some good police work, Deputy. But we need you to step aside. I can't. I have a body in the morgue. I have an open case. Close it. We don't want to scare either party away. They got eyes in your department. Amos Miller was 19. He was murdered. If we find evidence of a murder, we will bring charges. But for now, we have bigger priorities. There's an opioid crisis in this country. And we don't want a small-time hunch jeopardizing our investigation. I'm not... I was in the NYPD. We know. We pulled your file, saw what happened there. Ortez Mackey, 19, same age as Amos Miller. Look, we all got our own shit. You played nice with the department then. We're just asking you to do the same now. That's not why I... Let this go.
Jeremiah Miller just paid me a visit. He's afflicted by his son's overdose. Get some rest, huh? There's no way Bill needs you at the dealership this early. Well, I just want to get a head start. Don't worry, I'll be out of here soon. I, about last night, I wasn't trying to be a dick. You just don't know Bill the way I do. Thomas, you made your point a number of times. But I'm not changing my mind. I need this job. Okay. <sighs> okay. What are you doing? Come here. It's your first day, you're gonna need to eat something, so. Scrambled or sunny side up. Towns. I can't talk. Have you seen Henry? She wasn't in home. Not my problem. Wait. Aren't you helping her? Henry doesn't want my help. She doesn't want friends. Hey, it's Henry. Leave a message. Hey, Jenna. Oh, shit. Sorry, were we on the phone? Oh, uh... No. It's okay. Um, listen, I was wondering. Uh, a few of us are going to Lincoln tonight to prank them back, you know, after the stunt they pulled on our girls' bathroom. Right. Um, do you think maybe you want to come with me? Oh, uh... I don't know if it sounds stupid to you. I mean, it kind of does, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, unless you got other stuff. Sure. Sweet. Cool, okay. Well, I will text you the details. But, you know, in fact, I can even... I can even pick you up if you want. Yeah, okay. Cool. Awesome. Pretty sure I can. You don't get off my porch. I'm gonna split you in half. Okay. It's just my car broke down. In my closet. No. <laughs> no. Just it's like a mile down the road. And how did you get in my house? I have a key. The hell you do. I do. Lizzie gave it to me. Lizzie. Why would my daughter give some nutty girl the key to my house? Because I'm a student aide. I volunteer in the homes of sick people and sort of... I'm not sick. Them. Even if I were, what would Lizzie know about it? Not that she'd give a damn. Lizzie, your daughter. Um, I... You know, I don't know. She just hired me to come help around the house to help clean the house because it needs it and on my way here my car literally just slid off the road because of the black ice and i have no cell reception out here so i had to walk a mile from my car to get here and when i knocked on the door nobody answered so i just decided to start working in the closet how come lizzie didn't tell me she was sending someone i don't know i don't know why she would do that did she warn you about me um, no, you can tell me. What did she say? She does have a tendency not to hold back. I know that much. Yeah, right. I think you should just ask her when she gets here. Coming here. 
Yeah, she just told me to call her when I'm finished cleaning, and that should only take a few hours, and then she's gonna be here. I hope you brought a vacuum. Have you got a name? Henry. Henry. <laughs> well, that's dumb. You can call me Dippy. That's much better. Sorry. So have you always lived here? Since 62. Same year I got pregnant. Terrible winter. You know, it isn't always like this, just so you know. I'm in the middle of a project and I wasn't expecting company. What project? What time did you say that Lissy was coming by? It should just be a few hours. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. I haven't even showered. Well, if you want to go get ready, I can, you know, I can start cleaning up around here. You won't even know that I'm here. All right. Well, if, if you steal anything, I'll know it. Got and it. And you can start with dishes. Okay. Hey, Towns. Uh, it's me. It's Henry. Um, so, listen, I teleported again to the same place, and it turns out that it is a house. My house. Or at least it used to be. I'm pretty sure I used to live here when I was little. I don't really remember. Um, but I think there has to be something pretty significant about it because I moved around, like, a lot. Anyway... I don't know what the fuck to do, so call me back. Wait, no, 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 don't call me back. I don't have service, so do not call me back. Not on this number. I'll, I can just call you again. Okay, bye. This model has a 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine, 132 horsepower, gets about 30 miles to the gallon, driving with a standard five-speed manual transmission. Yeah, but this car's got over 150,000 miles on it. It's not about the number of miles, it's about how they got there. There's no wear in the suspension, no cracks in the belts. I'm gonna have to think about it. Well, let's, let's take it for a test drive. No, I appreciate your help, ma'am. Just around the block, it'll take about five minutes. You have a good you day. Sorry, Excuse sorry me. No, that. no, it's, it's my fault. I'm, I'm a little on edge. I'm, I'm, it's my first day. I'm Cleo Coles. I'm Lucas Boone. Right. Oh, yeah, you're Bill's other son. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, do you mind if I bum one of those oh, off yeah. you? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You mind if I... Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you something? Have you ever seen anybody sell a car on their first day? Uh, I don't know. I'd work back here. I memorized everything, that whole manual. It's, it's just not taking, you know? Well, my dad's favorite catchphrase is you don't sell cars with numbers, sell them with feelings, whatever that's worth. Say, so like, how the car makes you feel, you know, like with the wind in your hair, kind of thing. Yeah, sure, I guess, yeah. That's really good advice. Thanks, Lucas. Right, good luck. Deputy, what's the status on that Mennonite DB? Open. Waiting on tox reports? No. Screenings came back with fatal levels of fentanyl. So why the hell is it still open? These people want their son's body back. How do you know that? Excuse me? 
I'm just curious how you know they want their son's body back. Who told you that? The case is closed, deputy. Hand it over. All right. No peeking. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Open him. Huh? What do you think? Nice, right? Yeah, it's your room. Biggest room in the house. It's on the main floor. I brought all your stuff. No, I don't want these here. What? I don't want these trophies here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to be surrounded by your comments. Just get rid right? of them. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll get them out for now. Look, this is just the beginning, Clay. We're, we're putting in ramps. We're going to put railings in the bathroom. We're lowering all the countertops. We're going to get things back to normal around here real quick, son. Just get out. All right, buddy, you just take a minute, okay? okay. You let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Lucas. Hey, Mom. Hi. Hi. Hey. You said if I was ever in town, I'd to drop by, so I just figured. How are you? How's Clay? He's, he's all right. He's getting more used to things. Wow, what a nice surprise. Honey, you didn't tell me Lucas was visiting. Yeah, I didn't call him. Sorry. Well, you picked the perfect time to drive by. We're just about to eat. Yeah, sure. That, that would be great. You want to take it for a test drive? Oh, I'm just 
looking for things. You looking for anything specific? I just need something to take my kids from school to hockey practice. Well, what about you? What about me? Well, what kind of car do you want? What would make you feel good? I just need something big enough to schlep the kids around. What kind of car did you drive when you were younger? I had a VW Rabbit in high school. Remember those? Yeah, of course. What color? Yellow. Then you are definitely not a minivan girl. Follow me. Now, this one's not a rabbit, but it's pretty great. It's got a five-star safety rating, all-wheel drive, and most importantly, leather seats. Take a look. That's nice. Yeah? Maybe a bit too nice. I have three boys, six, nine, and 12, so. Oof. Well, the good news is that the leather is not that much more. And I gotta tell you, I practically raised my daughter in a station wagon with cloth seats. It was a nightmare. It was like, you know, with leather, you can wipe the spills away and the stains, no problem. With cloth, not so much. After a few months, I wanted to set that thing on fire because everything smelled like rotten milk and tuna. <laughs> now, we don't know this in yellow, but what do you think of this cherry red? Can I? Yeah, please. Yeah. Nice, right? Can I take a road test drive? Yeah, yeah, let me just go get the keys. Great. You make yourself at home. I'd make you pay for whatever it is you broke, but it's all a heap of junk anyhow. They can throw it away when I die. Oh, nice job cleaning. Do you want me to... Can I? Can you what? I can help. If it'll make you feel useful. I need to ask you something. You know, I used to get my nails done once a week. <laughs> Not much point these days. When I called Lizzie to tell her I got lung cancer, you know what she said? She said, I'm sorry for you, Mom. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm sorry for you. <clears throat> when my mother died, I was on my honeymoon, and I called my father and asked if I should come back, and he said, no, your mother has a little cold, nothing to worry about. Is your mother still alive? Are you too close? Not really. You know, I have never met a family that didn't do anything but make themselves miserable with each other. Not my own, not my friends. And then when my husband took off, I had to move in with my sister. Boy, that was not good for anybody. So you haven't always lived here? Well, I rented it out for a couple of years to a young married couple. Oh. Mm. Do they have kids? A little girl. And for a while, they seemed okay, happy enough. But then, of course, that wasn't the case. <laughs> oh, that husband was a piece of work. Really? How, how so? What was he... Well, he had that... Uh, and what do they call it? Some condition. Pa paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> Are you sure that that's what he had? Oh, yes, a violent one. He destroyed half my house and then left them without a penny. That woman and her little girl. Boy, what a mess. But they were better off for it. That's what I think. Ah, watch the skin. Lucas, what college did you say you're going to? Uh, actually, I, I don't, uh, I don't go to college. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that I heard you were studying with your father. Yeah, to be a mechanic. 
Lucas deferred school for a few years and still might go back, though. Of course. Lucas, your mom told me that you've had your plate full lately with your brother. It's very good of you to be by his side. Yeah, well, you do what you can for family, right? Absolutely. I can't imagine how hard it's been for all of you, especially you, Wendy. You're so busy with church. Well, we have a very supportive community here, but it's been difficult. Well, I can attest to that. After my knee surgery, I was in a wheelchair for six weeks. Miserable experience. <clears throat> you know, Lucas, I uh, uh, gave a sermon last Sunday about your brother. He did. Robert, Lucas doesn't want to discuss religion. Let him No, know. actually, I'd like to hear it. It was about challenges that God allows into our lives to test us. There's a, a passage from the book of Romans that goes, those who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak. And that makes sense. Compliment me. I know I clean up all right. And besides, if you compliment as well as you clean, well, I might just end up insulted. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Worse than when you got here. Wait till Lizzie sees what she's paying you for. Do you think I look okay? I do. It's been seven years. Since you saw Lizzie? Yeah. <sighs> oh. When, when is she getting here anyway? She's still driving that pickup. You know, maybe I should give her a call and see, like, just where she's at. Look, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Do you have a phone somewhere else? You want to talk behind my back? No. What has Lizzie been telling you about me? Nothing. Did she tell you that I'm some kind of maniac? Oh, a oh, shall you? No. You can use the phone in my bedroom. Nice to meet you. You too. The food was great. Come by next Sunday. Uh, well, I gotta work then, but thank you for having me here. Thanks. I called him several times. I told you that. He wouldn't call me back. And your dad and I were just You know, honestly, Mom, water. it's fine. Don't worry about it. You were too busy telling people about your son's accident to actually go and visit him. So... I pray for you, too, every day. It's actions, Mom. Actions show love. I knew you came here to guilt me. No, I didn't. No, then why? Huh? I don't see you for months and then you just show up out of the blue?
This, I, yo, the spring is sick. I know. Yo, look, right? it's basically underwater, bro. School, look at this. School's drowning. It's drowning. School's drowning. Oh, drowning. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, what's up with you and Zach? Nothing. He's cute. He's sweet, too. Do you like him? I don't know. Jenna, you always do this. No, I don't. Do what? You always have all these boys vying for your attention and you never do anything about it. It's like you're asexual or something. I'm not asexual. Like, I'm just saying that Zach would be the perfect starter boyfriend. <laughs> starter boyfriend? Yeah, like the samples at Costco. You take a bite, but you don't have to buy it if it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Honey, <laughs> you're ridiculous. I'm just no, saying. No, that's you. Put me down. Whoa, Stop. you're heavier than I thought. <laughs> no. You're such a jerk. Come on, grab these cups. We've got to get all this water and pour it out. Hey, having a good time? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad you came. <laughs> I thought you said security started at 10. That's what they said when I called. You called the school? Guys, guys, security. Go, 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 go. Hey, hey, stop right this way. Where are we going? Hey. You can't follow all of us. This way. Oh, shit, get down. Under here. We can stop. No, oh, I you can go slower. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think we should just go meet up with everyone. Good night, Lucas. Lucas, I did it. I did what you told me to, and I just sold my first car. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't believe it.
freezing up there, mate. Yeah, thanks for meeting me. Of course. I've been wanting to get a side business going for years, but my father refuses to listen. Yeah, mine too. It's kind of hot in here. I run cold. So what's your plan for getting the product into new markets? What? <coughs> what do you do that for? For Clay. Clay? My fucking brother, you fucking piece of shit! <coughs> Fuck you! <coughs> Fuck you! <coughs> It's a long drive. I just really need to get out of here, so. Yeah, I think I'm like about a mile from the highway. Okay. Yeah, please hurry. Okay, bye. Dippy, I... She's not coming, is she? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't... Get out. Please, th there's just this thing that happens to me, and it brought me here. And I was just trying to figure out why. You're out of my house. Everything's in order. You're free to take him now, Mr. Miller. laughing so I had to tell him to shut up. I saw the flashlight and I just jumped out the window. And it wasn't even that far of a drop, but Damien completed his knee hurt and uh, such a baby. Sure. Jenna. Sorry, what? How far did you go with Zach? Jesus, Patty, you keep your voice down. What, your dad's not even working tonight. Just tell me before the boys get here. It wasn't a big deal. Well, did you make out? A little. And then I gave him a hand job. Really? I mean, it's just what seemed like was right. Well, tell me, he gave you a little something, too. <sighs> there, there wasn't enough time. Jenna, there's always time. Boys can be so selfish. Here they come. Uh, please don't say anything to Zach. You know I wouldn't. 
Hey guys. Another round, Iris? No, I'm gonna settle up, Gil. I gotta get to work. I didn't know you were working night shifts. I'm filling in for Cleo. She's working for Bill Boone now. Well, yeah, good for her. Right. What man doesn't love a good Cinderella story? Take me to Reston. Mm -hmm. uh, where is that? Just drive. I can show you. Nikolai. I'm done. We lost one. That's not good for the company. We, we lost two. Yes, the boy. That was unfortunate. But there's a new series of gravitational shifts that match the profile. You know how rare this is. We have an arrangement, Nikolai. Which I've paid for twice over. <laughs> and what are you going to do with only one shipment of factor? Crawl under the porch and die? One last assignment, and I'll give you enough for a year. How does that sound? A whole year. One more. One more. Where? A small town in upstate New York. A place called Reston. <laughs> 